When Pop bought this farm, it was out in the country between downtown and Old Town. And I remember in kindergarten, I go into this class and they hand me a book and they said, read this. And I was like, I don't know how to read, you know? And I think that affected me my whole life. It was like, it, I, I became so self-conscious about reading that I couldn't read in front of somebody. I couldn't even see the book, <laughs> but, so I was in the slow reading class till the third grade. When Route 66 was built in 1926, built for the purpose of cars had been invented. <laughs> when it was completed, they had a cross-country running race to advertise that there was such a thing. There was a CBS radio station truck that followed that race, and it broke down in Albuquerque. And that then when television came in, you know, we were kind of a part of that network. And um, so that Pop would go back east and visit Bill Paley and it was like visiting the president. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, the famous people were kind of not, not that distant in my family. And when radio started, I mean, there was Jack Benny, and we'd go out to Los Angeles and see these shows live, Amos and Andy. And so I grew up listening to the radio. So that's where I started drawing. I'm happy that I'm being trusted. What's expected of me? And it, was a, it was a difficult thing for me to do. Um, I think it was even more difficult for her to be on the other side of it while she was, was crying. I'm getting to spend a lot of quality time with my grandmother in her most sacred time that she has. That's her most prized time that she has is when she's in her studio doing art and I'm being let in. At the same time, I'm getting to practice and have a mentor. I was working on an exhibition for the Albuquerque Museum that included Indian, Spanish, and Anglo weavers. My friend, Rulon Geiger, who's a friend of Professor Lin LeChung, and several artists who were in China. So I said, why don't you take this notebook about this exhibition and ask Professor Lin, since he was the head of the fiber art department at Tsinghua Academy, and uh, see if he'd like us to bring that show over there. When she came back, he, she said, yes, he would but he would like to do an international show. Do you want to do an international show? And I'm like, all I know about is New Mexico weavers. What happened is he decided to do an international fiber art exhibition and turned around and invited everyone who was in the Albuquerque show. In the meantime, it occurred to me that it would be great if Tres Archuleta Sego could go and represent Spanish style weaving and Spanish designs. And uh, Sarah and Leona Natani, a mother and daughter who were both weavers, to be included in this exhibition and be able to come to China. So as I went to the McCune Foundation and got a grant to pay their way to visit weavers in China. And uh, there are traditional weavers. In fact, there are I think 28 minority groups, the Miao and the Li people. So there were eight of us. We uh, visited Zhang Jiajie, which is dramatic. It's often pictured in picture books where the mountains are, seem to go straight up and straight down. And um, there were weavers in that area. And we went as far south as you can go to Hainan Island, which is further south than even Hong yeah. Kong. And it's a, a larger island than Hong Kong. And in the center of that island are the um, um, Miao and uh, Li people. Uh, actually, a school Hello. set up to preserve their weaving. And what's your name? My name is Yang Bing. Yang Bing? 